right, guys. Here we go. The final episode of Celeste. The summit. The final. Here we go. I am so excited. You have no idea. I have my chicken nuggets here. All right, let's go. All right. Oops. I think what you have to do is... Oh, shit! I think what you have to do... No. Hmm. I don't know, man. Alright guys, I'm done with this play- No, I'm kidding. It'll be a really short video. And like the v vast majority of it will be my intro and outro, so. <sighs> Don't worry, I got this. Uh... Nope. Why is my cord like so super weird? Okay. There we go. Oh, this part's easy. I say as I die. Oh, God, this cord. It's like super tangled, so I'm gonna have to freaking fix this. And also, my uh, microphone cord's wrapped around it too. So. There we go. Alright. Oh my god. So much more movement. See? Easy. I see where I messed up there. Woo, we made it. Well, a little bit. Getting the hang of that. I do that though. It doesn't stand a chance. I'm jinxing it. Oh. All right. Um, we'll just keep going. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I could have totally saved that too. Okay. Nope. All right, screw it. We don't need that. We don't need nothing. Front door. Okay. Got this. Come on, I've done this before. I can do it again. That lag. Well, I'm also going to do this because I don't I don't know if it has screen tear right now. Okay. Oh, I could have so saved that. Boom. Yes, and that was the starting area. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm just waiting for something to go wrong. Alright, what happened? I'll be right here with you. You know what's really good? Trying to believe you. <laughs> yep, you might remember this. Oh. Yep, this is uh, the. This was part two. I did this. Part three was the uh, resort. You'll see. You'll see. We're going back to all these places. Bruh. Yes. I wonder how the uh, developers feel that their game got nominated for Game of the Year. Like, I feel like they'd be like... Because they were like one of the first indie games to be nominated for Game of the Year. Bruh. No, dude, come on. Let me do this for right. Holy crap. I was trying to get to the side. People are going to be like, dude, why do you suck at this game so much? I'm going to be like, I don't know. There we go. That's why I was trying to do this. Something tells me that's not what I was supposed to do. Yes. Something tells me I went the wrong way. Oh. Bruh! Come on now. Come on. We got this. I don't think we really could be up here without the freaking power-up. But as I said before, just because I have this power-up doesn't mean anything. And I think me playing this for the last few minutes... Oh, this part shows that... 
Oh my goodness. I thought I was in there. There we go. We are... Okay, my guess is what I had to do... I think this is the last part till... The next section. There we go. Yep, see? I don't even know what I'm trying at that point. There we go. Nice job back there. Look at you, Miss Positivity over here. You're so supportive. Don't push your luck. I might. I kind of want to, though. Well, I keep forgetting that there's um, there's those orbs that repeals your tank. Uh, gives you back your uh, jumps. No, oh, come on! I was right past that. You don't have to be so mean. So my guess is like these are areas that we haven't seen before. But I mean, like I mean, ha we have seen areas like this, but it's like we never seen anything. Like we haven't seen this room in the hotel. So my guess is like. I gotta do. Don't think about it. Just do it. <laughs> Undertale came out in 2015. What came out in 2016 that you could define as an indie game? I don't know why I ran across the floor. There we go. What in the world, bro? Come on now. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yep. Uh! Bruh. I heard something fall, and I was like, Yin Yi? Not saying like that's why I died, but because that's a little later. La 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 da. Then you gotta jump as soon as she does it. Oh, this is gonna suck. And you'll see why here in just a second. Ah! 
I thought I landed on it. Bruh. It's obviously the game's fault, not me. I'm, I'm great at this game. Let's go. I hope Mr. Oshiro is okay. Why? He threw you like garbage. Yeah, but I still care about him. I mean, you didn't have to snap at him like you did. Whatever. I mean it. You're, you're way too aggressive. Well, you put too much energy into bad people who will end up hurting you. Mr. Oshiro is not a bad person. You just want him to do a monster. He tried to hurt you. And you're defending him? Not defending him. I'm on your side here. I'm at him too. I might still be in that hotel if you enforce the issue, but I but I still hope he's alright. Okay. I'm sorry for snapping at Mr. Oshiro. Thanks. It's in the past now. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take another. Take another bit. I'm not gonna do this. If you heard that, I'd be a little shocked. So yeah, um, I don't want to talk about, um, like I wouldn't talk, um, about, I'm trying to think what I can talk about, about Celeste that I haven't said already. I think it's really good, obviously. I want to be like, oh yeah. You know, like I like Celeste a lot. I'm just thinking like my next Let's Play, dude. What's it gonna be? And I was thinking it's like maybe I should have the fans vote, but on honestly, I think I'd be putting too much power in you guys. You already decided that my next playthrough or next RPG I plan to do a playthrough of is going to be FF Seven Remake. So I mean, hey, you know, guys gotta. Let me choose what I play sometimes. I mean, I have been doing that. Because, you know, I like playing games. Oh, shoot. I could have literally saved that. Yes, you, sir, are a loser. So go back home and take that dumb. They're throwing these snowballs are mean people. They're killing people. <laughs> I remember the journey getting to that to the part where I am right now. I, okay. Oh shit. Well great. Now I gotta go all the way back. <sighs> Good to have friends like you. Oh, I was so freaking mother freaking freaking. Loads. We're gonna go to bed at 
I'm gonna go to bed at 8 tonight because it's a school night, so I'm trying to get as. Because I, I like getting as many videos. Can you tell I'm nervous? Nah. Probably hide it pretty well in this game. The next few uh, feats are going to be pretty wild, not going to lie. Woo! First try that, I think. Oh, it's that one. I'm not really sure if we make it. Maybe you're right. Maybe this is too dangerous. No, I was wrong. We can climb this mountain. I've got your back, and I believe in you. That means a lot to me. All right. Yeah, by the way, that hole might look like it's something. It is not. I think, honestly, you can make that jump. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, no, you can't make this jump. Do I recommend it? It's a little dicey. Like, you bar sometimes you can barely make it to the hole. So, it's kind of like, if you just do this. Sorry. Also, timing. You gotta get the timing right. Okay. Bruh! I didn't even... Bruh. Okay. Enough fooling around. I can do this. All right. That doesn't work. Okay. You guys ever heard of that game Fallout 3? You remember its code name? Uh I, I actually have talked to people who have played the original Fallout. And they were like, oh, um, you know, we wish Fallout 3 was a traditional Fallout game because we like the traditional Fallout. And, you know, like, I was kind of like thinking... You know, as much as, like, people complain, you know, because, like, we haven't received a true new Fallout since 4. You know, it's kind of like, at least we're kind of grateful that we even have Fallout. Like, the people who like the more newer Fallout over Fallout, like, 1 and 2. You know, at least we still have those kinds of games. I mean, like, yeah, there are some like it, but there's none that's going to continue, like, the story that they originally had for uh, Fallout 3, you know, because, well, that Fallout 3 doesn't exist anymore. The only Fallout 3 that exists is the one made by Bethesda. I do not know how in the world I survived that, but kind of glad I did. Um, but yeah, it's like Fallout 3 just ain't going to be, um, ain't going to be like how, how people see Fallout like, how people see Fallout 1 and 2 and, like, love it and stuff, and it's like... Mind you, the last Fallout game that they liked, mind you, from Fallout 1 to 76 was probably just Fallout 1 and 2. Okay, 
this one I'm kind of confused about. Oh, yeah. My bad. So, yeah, like, Fallout... You gotta just think, like, how lucky... Newer Fallout fans are, I guess. Because, I mean, I'm not trying to act like I'm the best. Like, I'm the spokesperson for it. But it's like... People who played Fallout... 1 and 2... And now they have to remember that the Fallout that they love is just uh, different. Because Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout... Like, they, the last true Fallout game that they could say was, like, Fallout 3 was Fallout Tactics. To an extent, they could say that. Okay, I see what I gotta do. So, like, I always kind of go, like, whenever I did my Fallout 1 playthrough, because that was, honestly, that was a suggested uh, game from Man on Fire, because Man on Fire, he never played Fallout 1 or 2, or, like, he only played New Vegas and 3, and I think he played 4, I, don't quote me on that, but, um, I think he has played Fallout 1 and, uh, I don't know if he even played 3, but he said he would do a playthrough on 3 if people like New Vegas. And I'm like, play 3. Play 3 if you want to play 3. Because, I mean, uh, Fallout New Vegas, I mean, although, although, like, I never played New Vegas. I played New Vegas a little bit, but I haven't. I haven't played it like many people played it. You know, I, I haven't even got past, like, the first one or two missions, so, like, that's why I have been playing Fallout 1, and, you know, like, that's why I plan to do Fallout 2, uh, in a little bit, in a, in a, in a while, like, I think I might play it, like, in, at least I'll play it, like, in April, probably, or, like, the video will be up in April or something, like, and you know, like many people would say, like, <laughs> yeah, I about to say there might not be a way I could survive this. I was going to say that. Kind of like how I said it, but you know, anyways. <laughs> no, but yeah, Fallout. Um, yeah, Fallout. Um, you know, these poor Fallout fans. I mean, you gotta kind of think like they haven't gotten new games since Fallout. Tact like a new game in the style that they want since Tactics, and then people go and say like, "Oh, well, there's Wasteland, um, like the Wasteland games." I think is what they're called. And I'm always like, "Yeah, they have they have a series that ain't Fallout." Yeah, okay. Well, it's kind of like saying, "Oh, you don't. Oh, you want a new Elder Scrolls game, or like." um you want a new Fallout game? Oh, well, play play The Outer Worlds. Because, I mean, technically that's Fallout. To some people, you could say. And it's like, no, it's not even close. Ah! Uh, why am I messing this up so bad? I think, it, I think this is the last one before we actually start climbing the summit. But yeah, out of, out of all the games I've played, like, um, I really like the first Fallout a lot. Like, I think it's really good. I love the combat. I love the story. I love the characters that you meet. Like, the, I love some of the locations. Like, I, I know in my playthrough I didn't really spend too much 
like too much time in them. But like I have I have literally seen so many cool things from that game. Like I love the Brotherhood of Steel and how like one of them's like, oh like basically one study can destroy a point that some big masterminds can this is it. The home stretch. We're so close we're gonna make it. Yeah. What's wrong? I'm just I'm sorry. I was holding you back. You need to learn to trust you. It's not your fault. I try to leave you behind. And honestly, I've been trying to leave you behind my entire life. I'm sorry. I wish I tried to understand you sooner. I was proud. I was too proud or stubborn or something. We wasted so much time and energy. At least we're finally talking about it. Yeah. I'm glad the mountain brought it, uh, brought you out. I think we can move past this. I think if we climb this mountain together, we can do anything. What if we don't make it? I'd be okay with that. You would? Of course. I'm just glad we're trying. I really needed to do this. Finally starting to understand why. Let's finish it. Yeah! Let's go. 30. Twenty nine. Huh. Thank you. Oh, I see. Um, but yeah, I mean, you just gotta think, cause like, but I think you can say that about every body, cause like, I mean, you can say that about any series, though, because it's like, yeah, there's like, oh, we want a new Paper Mario game, and then people are like, well, we'll just go play Bug Fables, and it's like, yeah, well, Bug Fables is a good game, why can't we get it from Nintendo? Why can't Nintendo, or, like, okay, here's a perfect example Remember that game, um, shit, what was it? Like, people wanted a new, well, I mean, that is like the bug, I was gonna make the bug fables comparison. Or like, like, look at Celeste. People are like, why can't Nintendo make a 2D Mario game like Celeste? Or like, um, Sonic Mania? Or, oh god, or to an extent, like, any other 2D platformers. And I know I'm ragging on Nintendo, but I mean, think of all the people that want, like, a new Metal Gear Solid game. Like, what, 2015, we got, we got basically the last of the series, because Konami didn't want to deal with Kojima anymore, and it's kind of like, well, you had Kojima literally working on a new Silent Hill game, we haven't had a new one since Downpour. But now we're getting Silent Hill 2 remake, Town Hall, F, uh, which is supposed to be, I believe Silent Hill F is supposed to be the ninth. So it's like, I, I want to know what's going on in the game industry sometimes. Because like horror now is way more popular than it was like a few years ago. Like Amnesia was a good game, Five Nights at Freddy's to an extent had a lot of good games. And people like to even bring up, like, people people talk about how, like, you know, horror games now kind of go to the indies. And it's like, well, I mean, now with what new indie games are making, like, I'll be honest, like, hot take, I don't like Poppy's Playtime. I think Poppy's Playtime is really fucking boring. Like, and if you're wondering, yes, I've only played Chapter 1, but Chapter 1, on, okay, okay. For the people who likes to bring up how it's just chapter one, you know, you can't hate on just. Uh, 
about how it's like, oh, it's just chapter one. Come on. Play chapter two. I'm not spending... Because, like, I'll bring up a good example. The Walking Dead games. Like, yeah, that was made by a team, Telltale. But, it did the chapter format right. And I'll tell you how. Chapter one was a good... Like, it enticed you to go and either buy the rest of the chapter or play the rest of the chapters. Shoot. Could have made that... Oops. I tried, dude. I tried. But yeah, like... I don't get why... Okay, I, I guess I'll go on a rant here. Why... Why does Poppy Playtime and Garden of Ban Ban or whatever the hell... Get so much more love than, like, actual other... Like, for example, I hear... Like, I guess, like, it's past its prime now. I guess unless it's kind of, like... But, like, I've seen this post, and I hope it's just satire. I hope it's just a joke. But, like... I see what I gotta do. I think I do, at least. But, like... Like, I guess Celeste is kind of past his prime, but it's like, there's other good, like, horror games. Well, I, and Celeste ain't really a horror game. But, like... No! I just got it. But it's literally, like... Instead of, there we go. There we go. But like, where we? Why do those kinds of games? Why does? Why does Poppy Playtime, why is that, like, the one that everybody's like, oh my god, this, this is scary. I'm like, how? How is a blue, like, and I get, like, oh, maybe Chapter 2 is, like, like, shit your pants level of horror. But I, I just do not believe that in the slightest. And I'm not meaning, like, I want everything, like, I don't want every game to be a horror game, because then... Honestly, that sucked. But then you got, like, all these other games. Like, and I think it's also, like, the YouTubers don't really. Help with it. Like, where it's like. Oh, scariest game I played in years. And all that stuff. I hear it all the freaking time. Like, in YouTube. And it's like. I guess it gets to the point where it's like, like, whenever you look at the actual horror games that came out, like, and I'm not meaning, like, indie games should be little because of bigger companies and, like, that kind of stuff, but, like, whenever Amnesia came out and Five Nights at Freddy's was starting to make it, then Outlast came out, and then, um... Alien Isolation came out, then Resident Evil 7 came out, and then P.T. came out. You know, you gotta, you can't tell me over all the years, and I get it, it's probably just to be clickbaity. Crap. I get it, that's probably just to be clickbaity. I get that. That's probably why they title it that, because it's like, oh, how is, it, is this game actually that scary? But I just do not believe that of all games that came out in the last. Okay, 2021. Was when Poppy, I believe Poppy Playtime came out in 2021. It might be 2022. Oh, if it's 2021, I'm very concerned. But, 
like, Poppy's Playtime came out in 2021. Resident Evil Village came out that same year. And while, yes, it's not as scary as Resident Evil 7, because 7 was freaking terrifying. But then you hear all the... Like, I would say Resident Evil Village is 12 times scarier than um, Poppy's Playtime. What? They're, okay, let... Let's take Poppy's Playtime Chapter 1 and look at it like this. Chapter 1, what was super scary about it? The very end. Like, that was the scary part. Oh, Blue Monster chases you out. Is that... Okay. Gamers who played... like And, they, and if you like Poppy's Playtime, more power to you. We're going to be here a while. But, like, more power to you if you played Poppy's Playtime and you were actually terrified. And I, I know I'm going after Poppy's Playtime a lot here because... I, of course I am. But you got Poppy's Playtime that release... Like, like, what's scarier? If you played Resident Evil Village, what's scarier... The house segment with that fucking gross baby thing chasing after you. Or Huggy Wuggy. Right? And that's another thing. These freaking names. I don't... Oh my god. How did, in the world did I do that? Bam. Like, how in the world... Like, I, I understand, like, is the idea that, oh, it's a kid's toy. But, let's be honest here. But. There we go. We are at six. Okay. But yeah, like, honestly... Garden of Ban Ban and, like, all these other freaking indie horror games, they're, they're not going to stop becoming popular and I should just accept the fact that like I just have to now go somewhere else for my horror game fix and I'm glad that it's happening and you know what I will say one thing I'm glad it's happening at the time where we're getting remakes of older horror games like Silent Hill 2 is getting a remake um which I mean I am playing the uh, original or HD remaster of Silent Hill 2, which if you do not know, it is a good game. I do like it. I have a full playthrough of it, believe it or not. But, No, but yeah, I don't know, man. I'm glad that's happening right now, though, I guess, other than it being during a time where there is no horror games being released. Like, I I really have to thank Resident Evil 7, I guess, for that, because I, I don't know why, but I feel like it has been such a drought of horror games until 7 came out. Like, because I... Because what came out, other than, like, a Five Nights at Freddy's game, maybe a Machine for uh, Amnesia, a Machine for Pigs 
came out before it? Maybe. But that's a maybe. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet here. As we get up this. We did it! We actually did it. I can't believe it. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look how far we came. I'm glad I got to see this before I... Well, before I... Oh, right. When we leave the mountain, you won't be able to talk to me anymore. At least not like this. Yeah. I know that we need to go home eventually. But it'll be scary to lose this body. I'll still exist, though. You were part of me before I came here. Yeah, I know. But I'm gonna have to depend on you uh, you to listen to me. Even if I can't talk to you in person anymore, I just can't go back to how it was before. Before the mountain. Don't worry. I can't go back to that either. I really want us to work together from now on. I believe you. But I'm still nervous. So, now what? Let's just enjoy this for a bit. Man. There you guys go. That is the last. But. Let's go say hi to an old friend of ours. Or old friends of us. Welcome back. Melon. How did you make it? Uh, did you make it to the summit? Yeah, we did. It was incredible. Beautiful, isn't it? I didn't think it would be worth it. But it totally was. Should have given you my phone so you could have taken the ultimate selfie. Good evening, everyone. What are you doing here? A little bird told me there was a, to be a party. RSFP by bird, positively magical. But if I am unwelcome, I shall take my leave. Please stay, Mr. Oshiro. It's good to see you. You know, this is the first time I've seen you outside that hotel of yours, Oshiro. Glad you made it. Madeline here is bar uh, baking up a pie with all of the strawberries she's been collecting. Oh, oh, that's wonderful, Miss Madeline. I haven't had strawberry pie since I was a kid. This is going to be amazing. Here, hope hope she's not much of a baker. You also said I wasn't a mountain climber. True. Can't promise it'll live up to the hype, though, uh, Theo, but I tried my best. So... How's it taste? <laughs> Madeline, I super appreciate you baking it for us, but I don't think I can eat this. It's the thought that counts. You people just can't appreciate good food. I'll eat all of it myself. You don't have to do that. Yeah, it was an empty threat. There's my total. 482 deaths. Yeah, that... There's this, but this ain't really much of anything. It's just kind of a challenge mode. So yeah, that's Celeste. Um, core doesn't really matter. You don't really need to do core. My off-camera uh, off account actually has the exact same. But mind you, I wasn't going really too much for the cherry. I was just seeing how I could beat it. That's kind of like the one I just play whenever I'm bored. Then there's my main account. And then I have this one that I've just been playing. Just kind of practicing. Um, so yeah, that is Celeste. I really love the game. Um, obviously, did a playthrough of it. I beat it. I beat it technically. I beat it three times. No, I beat it twice before I did my playthrough. 
Oh, one, sorry. Before my playthrough, I did a practice, the off-cam file. And then I did this one. So, yeah, I beat it three times now. I plan on beating it a fourth time. Like, by myself, of course. But you know what? I think this game definitely lives up to how much I like platformers. This game is definitely probably the... Oh, sorry. Probably my favorite platformer. Like, that ain't a running gun or anything like that. I think this is, like, my favorite platformer next to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Which is pretty high. Don't worry. Don't think, like, I'm being, like... Yeah, you know... Uh, no. I, I really like both of them. Uh, they're both good in their own ways. I really think this is one of my favorite indie games I've ever played. Definitely one of. Um, but yeah. I won't say it's my favorite indie game of all time. That kind of goes to Undertale. But, you know, thank you all for watching my Celeste playthrough. I know I've been uploading these every other day. Uh, my next playthrough will be starting up soon. So definitely uh, give that a peek, why don't you? Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Bye! Oh, also stay tuned for my next playthrough.